I want to return Congressman Cummings quickly to, uh, uh, to I guess it's, it would be Director uh, Cordray. Yes. Uh, do you worry that, that anything he tries to do is going to be challenged in courts based I, on, on I'm, the way? I'm, I'm sure there will be challenges, but the fact is, is that the president uh, got the okay from the attorney general, um, and a lot of people complain about uh, these recess appointments and. You know, but Reagan. There was no, they, they would say there was no recess in this appointment. Yeah, right? yeah, but Reagan had average 30, right. uh, and uh, Obama's averaging 10. Or President right. Obama's averaging 10. Um, the fact is, is that I think the president had to act. Um, as you know, there's certain, there's a certain trigger that comes when the, the head of that agency is appointed. Um, whereby they can look at payday loan establishments and things of that nature. And so we need to have that. The banks have actually been complaining. They said, well, wait a minute, you know, uh, there's nobody, you, you're putting us under a very uh, powerful microscope, but you're not looking at payday loans and all these other uh, uh, folks who are dealing with money and dealing with our constituents. So, um, again, I think he, the president did the right, made the right decision. Uh, again, one of the things that this committee is supposed to be about is protecting our people, trying to make sure that government works for them. As I've said to audiences many times, it's very important to me that government works properly for my constituents. They need for government to work properly. Right. Um, and so, again, uh, here we have an agency that has been set up to protect the American people and, and protect every single one of our constituents. Uh, and we're getting uh, a lot of pushback on that. And keep in mind, the Senate, the Senate uh, failed to appoint uh, Mr. Cordray, not because he wasn't qualified. As a matter of fact, they said he was a great guy. So he was a well-qualified fella. They just don't like the structure of this uh, organization. And by the way, the structure uh, it has been voted by the Congress of the United States of America, signing the law. It is the law. Mm -hmm. And we need to adhere Con to it. Congressman Tierney, are, are, we, are, are Republicans in the Senate going to be uh, disappointed they didn't confirm Elizabeth Warren because she takes a seat from Scott Brown? Do you know, what's I the, think what, they are. What's the mood? Of, where are the poll numbers up there now? Do you, do you have a... I think it's neck and neck right now. Sometimes neck neck? she's pulled ahead sometimes Scott is, is pulled ahead but I think they're gonna be disappointed because they lost a great talent well uh, maybe you know, it's be a great when, talent when Elizabeth Warren has met with my bankers in my community uh, they were all uh, excited about the prospect that she was taking a lot of care to listen to their voices and help them craft the new consumer protections uh, and I think that uh, this appointment Mr. Cordray is going to be as good uh, yeah. and he's going to be capable on that I think the underlying thing is this is consumer protection. It's beyond the pale uh, that some down in Congress don't apparently think that protecting consumers is important. They'd rather protect the Wall Street banks that got us into the mess. And I think that when the law is passed, the American people expect that it's going to be implemented into law, not that there are going to be these asymmetric attacks uh, on somebody to try to stop them from being appointed and stop the right. Consumer Protection Board John, from taking place. John, why don't you just name the Republicans that, that, that don't want to protect people, the Republicans that don't <laughs> care and that want to protect banks. I hear that all the time. One of the most important things that our committee is supposed to do is deal with the law, deal with what is, is right and has to happen. When we have that kind of discussion, you wonder, you wonder why on Capitol Hill it's difficult. People want to, and our committee wants to see laws implemented. But our committee isn't the committee that's appointing, is approving these appointments. If you want to start with people, start right with the Senate that would not approve well, this Congress recommendation, David. not because he wasn't qualified, but because they were upset with Dodd-Frank, and as I said, they're taking this asymmetric attack on it. Those are people I think you can start with and say, why aren't they just letting the law be implemented? We have no questions about his qualification. Let's put the man in place and let's get the law to work. I think Senator well, Chaffetz public. can speak on that. Yeah. <laughs> There's no doubt that the Senate doesn't do their job uh, clearly, absolutely. And with all due respect to what uh, Congressman Cummings said, you don't get approval from the Attorney General. You get approval from the United States Senate. And we can't just ignore the Constitution because, well, they're not moving fast enough.